I just want this show to be over now. And ain't that terrible? Listen, I listen. I'm I'm the first to say if you don't like something, just don't watch it. Whether that be you know a sporting event, a YouTube channel, like me, subscribe, like the video. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate you. But I, I I'm very new to this this idea of hate watching. But that's honestly what it's become. Star Wars: The Acolyte has become an exercise in hate watching for my sins. For some good, some bad. I've consumed all of the Disney Star Wars stuff. Guess I'm just what you call a Star Wars fan. Um, you know, I'll watch, and if it's bad, it sucks, and we move on to the next one and hope it's better. This really sucks, though. Like, god damn it. You could have... It's such a weird length problem that the Acolyte has, because last week... I almost found it insulting, and I mentioned this on the episode review last week, that they would do 27 minutes of what was effectively substantial less visual noise, trying to trick us with, oh, look at the pretty lightsabers, um, but not having any substance to it. Um, and this week, it was like, you're going to give me a 40-minute long episode, and I'm going to really feel every single minute of that. It was a drag. Um, you you, you could have done this so much faster. So that that's what I mean. I'm literally caught between worlds here. It's like, on the one hand, it's like, well, why are you so short last week? And this week, it's like, why are you taking so long to get to the point? And it just speaks to a much bigger problem that's going on with this series and as the pacing issues, it's not all of this gender politics BS that people are complaining about. You could put a you could have put a load of straight white guys in here, manly men doing manly things and smacking each other with their with their lightsabers, and it would still suck. The pacing is so off. The characters are really flat. I mean, the revelations we had in this, or the teasers we had in this. All right, cool. I was semi on board with Osha's kinda, but not really, sort of will she turning to the dark side. And then kind of, sort of, is he, isn't he a villain? Are they teasing he's a villain? Soul being insinuated that he's done some bad stuff. And it's like, guys, can we just get to the part where we find out this bad thing the Jedi did? Because I have a feeling all it is is it's, it's going to go back to the Witches. Like that—that's all we're doing. Is it's—it's it's going to go full circle to the Witches. Could there be another Sith Lord, and Kimir is not the big bad? I kind of got that vibe off of this episode. Maybe it's Soul. Maybe it's someone else. Power of one, the power of two, the power of many. I—I I don't. I... <laughs> I'm ranting. I, I'm literally at a stage where I'm ranting with not much direction here in this recap review thing. Um, I don't even know where to pull it apart. It's just... It, it's flat. It's stale. It's emotionless. It feels like it was made in a hospital Petri dish. It's just... It, it lacks magic. It just feels so by the numbers. It's something else. It's the law of diminishing returns, you know? They need to, at Disney and at Lucasfilm, get on board with this idea that less is more when it comes to Star Wars. Just just acknowledge that less is more. Make Star Wars special again. Stop giving us these every few month series that are just void of any soul. <sighs> Two more episodes to go. Push. That's my feelings. This sucks. What do you guys think? Did you like this episode? Am I now being too harsh, having started semi-positively with the Acolyte? Let me know, guys. That's what the comment section's for. But do continue to support the channel if movies are your jam and you like seeing a, a struggling father of two trying to make content from his from his room on the third floor. <laughs> it's really glamorous in here. But listen, I like movies. I like content. I like TV stuff. And I hope that comes across. Um, and I hope you guys get a bit of a kick out of watching me. It's a, it's appreciated if you do. 
still blessed that we've grown to over 30,000 in under a year. <laughs> it's amazing. So thank you all for that. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, there's a subscribe button there. There's another video for you to watch up there. And I'll see you guys on the next Acolyte Review. For my sins, goodbye.